This is Jordan Tao with JT News. Make sure you smash that like button, smash that subscribe button. Let's get right into the news. All right, DDG, I guess he got the bricks. The bricks beat off of him by OT Genesis. He was at a party and violated, okay? OT Genesis had this big party at his house like about a year and a half ago or something like that. Um, This is uh, from a uh, homie at No Jumper. That's, I forget his name. Uh Damn, I, I, D, uh, AD. Okay, so he, he told this story. and He's good friends with OT Genesis, right? And he was like, yo, like, there was, nobody was supposed to go upstairs. DDG, like, took a girl or something up to, it was something like that. Took a girl, some, somehow he was in OT Genesis' room. Someone was like, yo, dude, someone's up in your room. He went in there. DDG thought it was like, try to play it off, like some funny stuff. OT Genesis beat the bricks off of him. And I don't blame him, okay? Because, you know, when people violate in your home, you know, he's trying to open his home up, have people lower the vibe. <sighs> DDG had to get the bricks. He had to get checked. Bricks beat off him. Knocked out. Antonio Brown is going through uh, some type of episode here. So him and Kanye have a lot in common when it comes to this. Uh, Antonio Brown... Allegedly, this isn't the first time having arguments with a woman. I think this is with his baby mom again. Anyways, uh, a standoff with police. He had a standoff with police. I think they eventually got him, but he had this warrant out for uh, inappropriately putting hands on a woman. And, you know, being in Antonio Brown fashion... You know, was saying like, F this, F that girl, da 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 you know, wouldn't surrender. Eventually, you know, it was a standoff for a while. He's, I feel bad, I, I, I worry about Antonio Brown because it just seems like people, like, it's fun to, I guess it's fun for people to watch that, but like, once you realize it wasn't him just making a stance, it's like, oh, he's really like going through something, you know? You start realizing, like, oh, man, this guy, uh, he needs help, you know? Something going on. Like, I think there's just, like, something snapped in him, you know? Um, then we got, obviously, Kanye, you know, uh, exposed that Chris Paul was cheating with Kim Kardashian. And I guess Kanye looked at it like... These Kardashians do number on men. Kanye was already a little bit off, right? But all the things he had to endure through that family. Look at, they turned Bruce a certain way. They turned Scott a certain way. Uh, Rob, you know, and I'm sorry, man. There's something true to that. Kanye's totally snapped. And, you know, he lost his whole family, his kids. Think about that, right? So he's like, oh, I lost everything. This guy, Chris Paul, is over here married. Let me blow, let me make his life a little harder. So he, he exposed that Kim and him had a secret relationship. This guy's married. He's going to have a lot to explain to his wife now, now that Kanye exposed this. Now, Drake knew. This, was, this, this wasn't a secret, obviously. Drake's, Drake's trolling this with the, the, the jersey on. The Chris Paul jersey. Crazy. <laughs> Who knew? Drake knew. He was like, Drake was like, look, buddy, I know. I know. <laughs> we didn't know. Drake and Kanye knew, though. Uh, well, we'll get into some more news in a minute. This is George Taylor with JT News. Peace.